Hey guys, I'm Poochie. If you don't know anything about the channel, uh, we actually buy things to resell on eBay for a profit. We resell actually on eBay, Poshmark, uh, Depop, Mercari. We deal with all sorts of things and most of the things on this channel uh, just happen to be clothing that we buy and resell, both new clothing and pre-owned clothing. So what I'm going to show you today is some stuff we've gotten from some of our suppliers, uh, wholesalers, and oh, like whatnot. I've bought stuff on whatnot. So let's see what we have and how much I think we're going to make. If I have a guesstimate, I will tell you. It's kind of fun to just look at stuff. This is kind of a snake skin. This is some stuff that Betsy got. Okay, these look like pants. These are, wow, Betsy, you're gonna do that to me. XCVI, see the tag there? <coughs> I don't know how much these are gonna go for, but they're very cool. Uh, they feel like snakeskin pockets, and they have pockets, like knee pockets. Those are pretty cool. Those will sell, I would imagine we're gonna sell those for at least 20 bucks. Uh, so everything in this, I think we paid five for plus shipping. So I'm guessing those are going to go for at least uh, 20. We'll probably list them at 25 or 29, just depending. Here are some Torrid. These are fun. Betsy should really be doing these. She's, you're missing out. You're missing out, Bets. These are like Torrid. What do you, oh, they're... Okay, they do have the overall front. They've got stars on them. You see those? Those are cute, right? Uh, they are shorts. Those will probably go for at least 25. Maybe more, they're cute. This, you have to be careful when you list these on eBay, I'm just gonna say. I don't know if we'll be listing this, this on eBay just because uh, they take down everything. Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour, you see all the places that it has played, right? So I'm guessing we're gonna put that somewhere other than eBay because I don't want to get uh, a Vero, which Taylor Swift is pretty famous for doing. My dog is not happy with Taylor Swift's team for doing that, as you can tell. He's not happy. This, was not expecting that. Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture sweater. Uh, like, uh, what do you call those, Betsy, when they... I'll think of it. It's got some bling on it. It's a... When it comes together in the front, it's like a sweater that comes together in the front. A cardigan? Cardigan. That's it. Thank you. My brain. She was having a fart. She was having a Brent fart. Okay, this is Say What? And I'm guessing, oh my, who's the little girl with that fits? Oh, okay, this is like Ed Hardy. This is like an Ed Hardy design. Like the old school, like Navy tattoos from World War II. Those things are uh, very popular now, Ed Hardy all that. You never thought it would come back in style, right? We used to have somebody who worked at us and we used to mock him for the Ed Hardy pants and shirts that he wore. And now they're worth a fortune. Who knew? Tommy Bahama. Oh, this is nice. This is a Tommy Bahama. There you go. It's got embroidery all the way down it. You see that? That is a nice Tommy Bahama. What size is that? Extra large, nice. That'll probably sell for 20, maybe more, maybe 25. These are new with tags, soft surroundings, pants. New with tags. Um, we usually do pretty well with soft surroundings. Those are probably sell for 25, uh, 30 or 35 maybe because they have the tag. Now, don't quote me on any of this because you know, I'm just winging it. Uh, the reason that I have been 
well, we have been buying so much uh, from online and from wholesalers lately is because the weather here, we are in North Carolina and the weather is god awful horrid. It is, it was supposed to be 105 degrees yesterday. Uh, that doesn't count the humidity, which makes it feel like it's 115. Uh, and it was uh, supposed to be, well, it was 98 degrees today. And I don't mean 98 degrees cool like the band, you know, the old band. I mean like 98 degrees sweating your nuts off. Uh, these are Buzz Off. These are uh, insect shorts and what do you call these? Um, convertible pants where you can make them into shorts. Those are very popular now. Those are probably sell for at least 20 bucks. Now I say at least 20 bucks, at least 25 bucks. I'm trying to kind of keep the estimates low. They could sell for more. Uh, I just sold something yesterday for, it was a, a Minnesota Vikings um, salute to service hoodie that sold for like $60 and I had something sell for, well, let's look and see what I've sold. Shall we? Um, we had a t-shirt, just a gothic band or a rock band t-shirt, not even a popular band. Him. I don't know if that's a Christian band or what, but, uh, sold for 31. We had a, um, uh, it's a motorcycle jacket for like motocross, uh, sold for 50 bucks today. Um, we've had a lot of good sales lately and a lot of things I've marked down because I'm just done. I'm done. I'm tired of having them around. I'm done. Uh, Turnbull and Asser is a really good brand. We sold a shirt. We've had it a while. So I accepted an offer of 28, um, a crazy shirts, Hawaii, a uh, shirt sold for 23 um, San Antonio Public Library shirt sold for 20 uh, I love selling vintage t-shirts. We had an Orvis shirt sell for $23.51. Um, I'm kind of giving people better deals um, during the summer because summer slowed down. We sold a Jurassic World uh, Torrid Ladies really light hoodie for 23 So we've had a lot of good sales. Uh, but I don't want to say, oh, I think this is going to sell for 50, you know, unless I think it is. So I like to keep it reasonable. Now, I don't even know what this is. Betsy must have liked this because it's kind of a, oh, they're pants. They're pants. Weird. I thought for sure it was going to be a dress with, you know, the tube top style dress. These are pants. Funky. There must be stacking factors involved. Now, stacking factors are when it may not be a good brand, but it's a good style. It's The color is a great uh, design. Um, it's a certain kind of look, uh, like login look or Gorp Core uh, or all these, you know, fancy new fangled 20, 21st century uh, words that they use. The, the kids, the kids use them. Uh, so there must be something going on there that she... Uh, thought it would go for more because I don't see that it has a tag but and some of our wholesalers that wholesale to us are like okay this is a really good style because blah 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 so yeah we appreciate that this oh my goodness Mac tools <laughs> that's cool uh, so Poochie's going to price that at like 40 bucks or more because that is cool. We'll have to go on and see how many others there are like that, but that's a freaking cool. This is what you call an all over print. So let me show you, let me school you in case you don't know. This is an all over print. It means the print is all over, uh, the shirt, right? It's not just in a certain <coughs> design like my shirt. My werewolf is just in a certain area of the shirt, that print goes all over. So it's called an Oliver print or an AOP and those are very popular. Catherine's 20, again, Catherine's is not a great brand. This must have something going for it. Uh, I see lots of little sequins that are pretty. So I think we will do two of these and then I will maybe 
because I have two big, huge bags. God, we bought a lot. Uh, and then I will go into the other stuff, but that I bought from other people. This is Editions by Chico's. That's a really pretty blouse, guys. So this size can be a stacking factor too. This is size two. I think that's like, I don't know. Chico's has weird sizes. I think that's maybe a larger and extra large, but that is a beautiful blouse. Um, Chico's is, has weird sizes because it's like it's a two, but it's not a women's size two, a standard like women's size two, and it's not a 2XL. So Chico's has some funky sizing. Uh, Doc Martens. Wow, okay. This is air weight. Air weight. Doc Martens shirt. Just very plain, but still Doc Martens. I've never seen one of those. So, should be interesting what we get. This is Adidas. Oh, this is cool. This says Adidas. Adidas NYC. You guys see that? That's a heavy shirt, too. That's a nice, quality, heavy polo style shirt. This is, I don't know. This is like Christmas for me because I didn't order all this. Uh, so this is a surprise. Betsy ordered all this. This is a Prana uh, little top. It looks like a dress, right? It's gotta be a dress. Kind of a halter style dress. Don't quote me on that. Betsy's specialty. Betsy's specialty is women's clothes. My specialty is men's clothes. So since this is all women's clothes, if I am saying it's something that it's not, ex forgive me. Ninety-eight degrees. Whew. We have a pool. It's too hot to use the pool, man. Lane Bryant. This looks like it's new. I'm not sure it still has the tags, but it still has the little button thing. So if it doesn't have the tag, we will list this as new without tag. Um, look at that, though. That is beautiful. Beautiful blouse. Lane Bryant is again not a brand we normally get so there has to be something about that perhaps it's new is why this okay this is a promo for it looks like for the new exorcist movie and why i can say that it looks like it's a promo because it's actually on the exorcist tag not just like a gildan tag or whatever so not exactly sure what that one will bring but that's a cool we do usually pretty well with movie promo t-shirts Spanx. This is way, well above my pay grade, people. It's a Spanx. Isn't that a Kardashian brand? Yeah. Spanx. Yeah. Of course it is. Torrid. Ooh, these are kind of like some... These are Torrid too, so I'm guessing that means 2XL. They're kind of like leathery looking. Those are kind of cool. Betsy, when she was shopping, was obviously looking for the plus stuff. Here's some pranas. Oh, those are cute. Look at those, guys. Little prana shorts. Kind of like Southwestern chevrons. Wild. Okay, do one more bag. And then I think I'm going to stop this video. And then I'll do another video where I am unboxing, uh, well, this is kind of like unbagging, isn't it? Unboxing some of the menswear stuff or the mixed stuff that I've gotten. We spent $458 at Goodwill last night because we raced out because we had a sudden thunder shower and the rain made the temperature drop 25 degrees about 20 or 25 degrees so we were like let's go source <laughs> let's go oh my god it's not 100 degrees 
let's go thrift. Because we've had to like do so much sourcing and thrifting online or from wholesalers. It's been crazy. This is beautiful. Free people. I am not sure what the fabric is. Did you guys see that? Sorry. If I'm not showing you. Just a nice thin sweater. Very soft. Tom and Jerry. What? I don't know what the front looks like. But I'm looking at the back. The back looks good. It's got a little bit of peeling, guys. So Betsy's going to have to take her little sweater shaver. Nice graphic though, right? Cartoon stuff sells. Cartoon stuff sells. Which is cool because I love cartoon stuff, man. Where is the tag? This is the thing with girls' clothes, women's clothes. Sometimes I don't even know where to start to find, to find like this. What is this? What does it do? Where does it go? <laughs> Where does it come from? I don't know. I, okay, I got it. I got it. So this is the front, it's a dress. This is the brand Socialite. So it's got, man, this is like a Russian jigsaw puzzle to me. Like that, it's like a Rubik's cube. This flannel totem company. Cool. Oh, well, that's nice. Yesterday at Goodwill, oh, I got some really cool Western shirts, guys. Ooh, I got a, what's the name of it? A roper. I know some roper doesn't do that great, but I love the one that I got. Ooh, okay. I know this is a bolo because I have heard of this brand. Butter. Butter. That is an all over print sweater that has the sun shines. That is freaking cool, man. Good job, Betsy. Yeah. God, that one's cool, man. I'm gonna put that on the side. I'm getting into the dainties now that you bought. I'm gonna be holding up bra brassiers in a second. Oh my God. Uh, the Territory Head is actually, it's not a, I don't think it's a great brand to sell, uh, but it's one of my favorite brands it's become because of the designs that they have. This is, I don't even know, man. This is some huge, extra, extra large, long as heck. Uh, weird. Look at the pattern on this, guys. Can you see that? It's like it's woven. So cool. Uh, Territory Head, I love their colors. Uh, I've, I've, we've done pretty well with the stuff that we've gotten from Territory Head. Emily and Finn. Is this a good brand, Betsy? Emily and Finn? Mm, I don't know. What is it? Sweater? What does that have on it? Feels like it's cashmere. Let's see if I'm wrong, as I usually am. I'm wrong. Of course, of course I am. But it is 5% mohair, 5% alpaca, 10% wool, 60% nylon, and 20% acrylic. She bought it for that 5% alpaca. She's got a thing about alpacas, I think. I don't know. Betsy, you bought drawers. You bought somebody's drawers, Betsy. Betsy Johnson. Oh, that's pretty. Nice little Betsy Johnson skirt. Beautiful colors. Beautiful. I have stopped saying what I think this stuff will sell for. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know on the dress. The Toad & Company uh, flannel, I think probably 20 or 25. I think probably 25. The um, Territory Head, the long one, I think... That'll go for at least 30. I mean, that's my opinion. And uh, the little sweater, a 25 maybe more. And the skirt, 
probably 20 or 25. But again, don't quote me on that because I'm not the I'm not the chicks clothes expert. Rye grass. This is a rye grass hippie boho skirt. That much I know. That's boho, right? Boho? Yeah. <laughs> She's answering me from out there. She doesn't even know what I'm holding up. She doesn't even know what I'm holding up. And she's like, yeah. That is what we call patronizing. <laughs> she's trying to make me not look stupid. She's agreeing with me, even though she can't even see what I'm holding up. Oh, she thought I asked if boho was a word. Like to describe clothing. No, that's not it. I was describing a clothing. Oh. Le Bent. Oh, I like this. This is Le Bent. So if you don't like someone, you just tell them to get Le Bent. New favorite brand. Get Le Bent. That could be their marketing. Their whole marketing could be get le bent. <laughs> Got milk? Get le bent. It's genius. Send me a check, le bent. David Rose, size 12. This is pretty. Ooh, girl. That has the see through lace, the see through lace, and then, uh uh, you aren't seeing through this lace. Very nice. Very nice, respectable. I'm supposed to get my hair colored today. Obviously, did not happen. Michael Kaur swimsuit, new with tag. What? New with tag. The original price, $114. That is $20 per inch of material, people. Now let's go through the dainties. MNG by Mango. Ooh, Mango. That's cute. That's like a very uh, sheer top. Kind of looks like a, oh, let's see, you're gonna notice the light difference in a minute because the light's gonna come back. Anyway, see, now my computer screen is back on. That's my lighting setup here. I'm, I'm a fancy YouTuber. My computer monitor is my lighting. Uh, anyway, that's that's a very pretty. So now we have... I really don't know how to pronounce this. I'll tell you how I always pronounce it. Bra, sports bra. This one I know how to pronounce because it's, wait, let me make sure I got it the right way. Juicy, it's juicy. Okay, juicy couture bra. So Betsy knows what all of that is worth, I, I believe, because she's the expert and she did the uh, shopping for that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'm not sure you did. I'm really not sure anybody could, but I hope you did. Uh, so the next one will be coming shortly. And as always, remember to buy low, sell high, and subscribe. Bye everybody.